Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the month of August 2023. So I'm shuffling up the cards right now. I want to take my time with this reading and talk about what I'm feeling for the collective as well as just Cancer energy in general for this month. We are going through Venus retrograde in Leo and I feel that so many people, especially Cancerians, are definitely going to be revisiting old emotional issues or wounds that you have overcome in the past, especially in relationships and friendships. And you may be revisiting them, them this time around in a more sense of like peace and groundedness and like, I'm not gonna freak out this time around. Like we can talk about things in a calm, collected manner and just go over everything that happened. It's almost like you have been through the emotional reactive, um, like in the depth of issues in the past within your relationships. And now you're revisiting them perhaps. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna stay calm this time around. You're gonna stay calm. We're gonna work through this once and for all. Like, and once we work through this, the issue is done forever, okay? Any emot emotional issues, that you faced in your relationships in the past um, that were not necessarily like there wasn't a tremendous amount of closure or clarity finality to it that is what you should expect to come up in august up until september 3rd i want to say and yeah i mean this could be old relationships coming back up or old relationship issues coming back to the surface to be dealt with but it's very beautiful i'm seeing like an infusion of peace and calm this month it's like this time around i'm stronger i'm better but we can infuse more peace more calm back into my life i also see a lot of uh focus on saving money for cancerians saving up money uh, paying off debts and just like creating a nice like savings for yourself. I've been feeling that very strongly for Cancerian energy for like I, I feel like you it's been on your mind in July, but now it's like you're putting it into practice and actually saving money and you know conserving your energies in that department. Uh, I'm also seeing things like home renovation, home improvement projects. There's something to do with home and uh, property ownership that may be coming up for you as well this month. Uh, and also there could be some sort of investments into your appearance. So this could be like tattoos. This could be investing in your appearance, like working out or like surgery of some sort. I just keep seeing like an investment of your appearance. Okay. We are going to see what's going on now. We have gentleness. Yeah. Like I said, this is that energy. We just picked up on that peace being infused uh, into the past relationship problems. Like there's a more gentle nature this time around. Like these issues will be revisited, but now you guys aren't emotionally reactive. It's like calmly talking things through being very mindful, not to get back into that triggered place of reacting. You know, you're really intentionally, trying to infuse some more gentle, peaceful, calm energies into your social life. Archangel Sandalfon, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. That's what we're seeing here. Also, for some reason, I'm seeing like gentle background music. So uh, this month you may want to play like some gentle harps or cello or guitar music in the background as you just go about cleaning and doing your basic things. I don't know message from your spirit guides and ancestors this month we have love oh my gosh it's gonna be quite a romantic month for cancerians i feel that very strongly also we have the musical notes here in the heart space which is funny love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion while love can be a beautiful emotions it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life beautiful so we definitely see relationships coming to the forefront this month. And from your planet, Mama Moon, she says, Cardinal Moon, be bold and make the first move. Oh my gosh, yes. And you guys, you are a cardinal, okay? Cancer is a cardinal sign. Cardinal Moon, whenever there's a cardinal moon, uh, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, it really asks us to be bold and take a leadership position in our relationships as well as our emotions, like taking a hold of our emotions, becoming more securely attached and practical and thorough, as well as taking a hold of our schedule, our daily schedule, so we don't get into 
these places of ruminating and overthinking like you know what instead of beating myself up i'm going to take action i am going to take matters into my own hands and make sure that my daily schedule is aligned with you know self-love and supports healthy relationships and i don't go back into that place or we don't go back into that place that we once were because we're taking the actions daily that we need to take in order to remain healthy gentle and peaceful so we're gonna pull nine tarot cards three rows of three to further elaborate on this month ahead i don't i haven't seen them they're all face down but we'll pull them out one by one first card out for you is the knight of wands forward creative momentum for sure is going to be a theme this month for you uh with leo season in general very creative it's all about like creativity sports hobbies fun um even like passion that like lusty uh type of energy or children it could be having fun with your children you know it, it all has to do with like creation the night of wands here so i see you wanting to create a lot of memories this month um and just really indulge in that sacral chakra energy so yeah that's kind of what we're seeing here you may be continuing this theme from july that might have been a focus for you in july and you're carrying it on wanting to expand yourself and your experiences creatively passionately or romantically whatever second card out for you is justice in reverse okay i feel like there is a situation going into august where it's simply not aligned with you and you know this could be someone in your life or a situation in your life that is kind of dimming your light a bit so for example and it's right next to that knight of wands i want to see the card next to this hold on <laughs> Okay, 10 of cups reverse. Okay, for example, you could be someone who really values heart to heart connection, like deep connections in your life. Um, if not longevity, then at least like offering some sort of substance in your friendships, in your relationships, in your family connections here. And there may be someone in your energy who disrupts that, who's not aligned with that vision that you have for what your relationships look like. You know, they could just be here to get their nut with the Knight of Wands coming out. Or this could be someone who really just, mm, how do I put this? Like they want to receive more than they give. You know, this is someone who is only really looking out for themselves like selfish energy i'm seeing here with justice in reverse that's something you're gonna want to be mindful of because in the month of august we see you perhaps initiating a conversation with this person and saying like hey you know my vision for life is that even the most surface level of my social connections you know the lightest hearted the light hardest what, what am i saying the connections in my life that are even very lighthearted, not serious, not deep at all, my goal is for them to still offer some sort of substance, some sort of happiness or uh, deep conversation or good experiences that I can have. And I don't feel like you offer that. Like, I feel like this is, you know, not what I'm looking for. I'm seeing a conversation like that you may be having with someone and spirits saying if you know what i'm talking about you should initiate this conversation soon after watching this video or whenever the time feels right for you it feels like more so in the beginning of august so in the beginning of august like you may want to initiate this conversation like hey i'm looking for something with a bit more substance here something a bit more deep and um equal you know i i want something that pours energy into me because i pour lots of energy into all my connections because you're cancer and that's what you do anyone with strong cancer placements i just are, can already tell <laughs> that you are somebody who pours a ton of energy into the people around you and so i see you initiating a conversation like that to address some of the wounds also with what we were saying earlier about old issues coming back up this could have been an injustice done to you in your connection someone might have lied, cheated, or just kind of 
acted selfishly. I see you initiating a very calm and gentle healing conversation about that and really trying to temper out your emotions to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed and run away or freak out on them. Like you wanna create a safe space for them like, it's almost like you're so kind. You don't want to attack this person for not necessarily treating you right. Like, you just want to talk about it. So second row out, fourth card, we have the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, yeah. This seems to me like the energy that you want to manifest is King of Cups upright. Someone very loving, romantic, loyal, very consistent in your life, you know, open-hearted uh, energy. So to me, it feels like there's kind of conversations and issues beneath the surface that will be coming up in August. Like we said, center of your spread this month is the Six of Cups. Wow. Restoring peace and harmony, restoring friendship. Uh, this is old connections, old friendships coming back around. And like I said, like having a conversation about the past that is gentle, peaceful, loving, and restoring good energies between you and this person, however that may fall. So that is beautiful. I see a lot of happiness in the Six of Cups. I'm also seeing you going out like shopping, flea markets, farmer markets, things like that, maybe of significance this month. Sixth card out for you is the Two of Cups. Oh my gosh. This, this month is so good for love for restoring harmony and balance, equal give and take, but you're gonna have to initiate conversation about this. Like, like I said, there's any issues that exist within all of your relationships, not just romantic, like romantic friendship, family, everything will be coming up this month for you to initiate a gentle, peaceful conversation on because you took time and space away to kind of heal, process, and figure yourself out on this journey and you know I, I feel like you took the time to pour energy into you so you you're no longer coming from this kind of codependent or jealous or needy possessive place it's like here i am here you are like we can talk about this like two adults like i respect you and your decisions even if they're selfish <laughs> and we can talk about it so moving on <laughs> love's looking good third row out for you seventh card mm, you gotta be kidding me ace of cups Brand new emotional start, brand new love, brand new start, brand new connection. Oh my gosh. You know, this might be a situation where you go like in July, you might be, or even in the past, you might've been in a situation where, you know, it was all lust. It was all like lusty, hormonal, like sensual stuff, but you were really lacking that emotional component. And I almost feel this acknowledgement from within you of like, no, I want something deeper. I want something more profound. Uh, even if it's friendships, it's like, it could have just been like all fun, drinking, ha <laughs> ha. And it's like, I want heart to heart conversations. I want genuine support. I don't just want to be here during the fun times. And I feel like you're initiating a very difficult conversation. Difficult in the terms of like vulnerable, you know, uh, expressing what you want, but it, it should be easier ist for you as a cancer to initiate these things because Cancerian energies, people with strong cancer placements tend to be out of all the signs most comfortable in emotional conversations. So I kind of see you in July and previous months being in this place where there, there's an issue here, you feel like it's all lighthearted, whatever, and then it's like you get really real about what you want. You have a conversation or you know, it, it'll look different for everyone. It might involve letting someone go who just wants something sensual or you having this conversation and going over past issues and speaking what's on your mind actually leads to something deeper with someone who you thought just wanted something very casual, light turn. I don't know. We're seeing love though. We're seeing love, a new emotional beginning for you. It's really beautiful. Like, holy crap. So we go from two of cups to the ace of cups. We have the six of cups beautiful friendship. I, and you know what? It's like, that's being restored. I feel like that was the element that was missing. Like we don't spend quality time together, quality conversation. Like it's all very surface level. And like, I want to deepen it. So I don't know, or maybe that's just something you're acknowledging within yourself. Like this is what I want. And you might find someone totally new, but you have this new perspective and it leads you to that energy that you want, that authenticity, that genuine love. We have judgment, oh my gosh. This is literally the card of past issues being reconciled. Like, 
Mm, there's a decision here. Some of you may be making a decision to revive an old friendship, an old creative project that you abandoned, or like a relationship, something like that is being revived, a brand new start because you both changed, you both evolved, or you evolved into the person that can do this creative project justice. You can do it justice this time, or they can do you justice this time. Like we have the tools now to reawaken this thing that was once put to sleep. You know, you could have been in a separation, romantic, uh, familial, platonic, like you could have distanced yourself from someone who you once felt was like home, who was like family to you. You distanced yourself from them because you felt like they were not doing you justice. They might have lied. They might have kept things very casual, surface level, something like that, you know? And for some, whatever reason, this connection has the opportunity to come back around. Maybe they're in your town. Maybe, you know, you run into each other. It's something like that. And you're able to revive something really cool here. So that's beautiful. And this doesn't have to be a person. This could be a creative idea of yours. Like maybe you have a creative business idea that you have been sleeping on and you meet the right people, the right inspiration, the right teachers uh, at the right time. One thing for sure though, when we have an ace like this in a reading, this is a brand new start that is 100% coming in for you in August. And this new start is either emotional or creative. Okay, and it's gonna be something long lasting. So if this is a creative project, for example, you begin it this month, but it may lead you to a whole journey of creativity and growth. This is a new relationship. You know, it's like it begins this month and it leads, it could possibly lead to the final outcome, which is 10 of cups, like complete and utter emotional prosperity, happiness. We see here a family committed to each other, beautiful home, land, like what else could you ask for? Nothing. You know, this is what this leads to, like, you know, reaching a zenith of beautiful energy. So I am seeing that in some way, shape or form. You know, this could this could even represent for some of you um, conceiving a baby. And, let, you know, that's a whole life form, you know, it's like the start of a whole entire life journey. So something completely brand new is coming through for sure for you in August. Final card out for you. Page of Pentacles. In reversed one thing i am seeing here with this revival of sorts um i feel like it's there there's something about it not necessarily being written down on paper or official this month like how do i put this like if you're reviving an old romance for example uh, this month may be filled with like getting to know each other again dating each other again and maybe even having these discussions, blah, 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 blah. But for a while, it may not be like on paper that you're back together. Does that make sense? And I feel a sort of hesitation from the both of you. It's almost like you're getting to know each other again or you're getting refamiliarized with something. So you're not making an announcement. You're not making it official. Like it's not set in stone just yet. It's something you're really excited that's growing in your life. But it's like, you're not gonna announce it until like you fully trust that you are over past issues. You are over, you know, the creative blocks that may come up. Like for example, like if you tried to start a business idea like five times in the past and every single time you told everyone, I'm gonna create this business, it's gonna be so big. And then you just never went through with it. Like this month you may be working actually really hard and things are changed and it looks really good, but you're, you're, you're not gonna jinx yourself by putting it out there. And you know what I mean? It's like one of those situations where it's like, you want the energies to settle in and get rooted a bit more before you communicate and say like, this is official, we are committed to each other or I am committed to this project. It's almost like there's a settling down period after this new start. You wanna get things rooted and make sure that this is really a healthy foundation to grow from before you let the world know that this is something that's going on or before you um, even in your own mind and heart are like, this is official, you know? So whatever this thing is, it's not like official <laughs> this month, but it is kind of building up and there are decisions and conversations 
and experiences to be had that will keep growing this this month so beautiful month cancer watch for your sun moon rising and venus to get the fullest overview of this month ahead and if you want to support the channel like this video comment how this resonated down below leave some positivity in the comment section and subscribe you can leave a donation to this channel link to that is in the description or you can visit my website spiritpsychic.org to get personal psychic readings with me one-on-one -on -one, spiritual life coaching sessions with me or my goddess energy intention oil thank you guys bye bye